Hey, welcome back to another episode of Memo's Garage AZ. Today I'm installing something that I've been wanting to get for the G ever since I bought the car and I finally pulled the trigger on it. Let's check it out. Paddle shifter. Like I said, I've been wanting to get these for like ever and I've been focusing on engine stuff, but I think now that I'm going to the track, I definitely want to be able to keep both hands on the steering wheel and still be able to manual shift. So these are definitely a must for me. Um, I also got the, all the covers because when you get these, you need the special steering wheel covers because the OE, ones, the ones that come with the car will not work unless you cut them and yeah, I wasn't going to try to do that. So, got these from C1 Motorsports, I believe, and these I got from someone on Facebook, got them used, actually got them under 200 bucks, so. The other thing I'm doing is I'm installing these 350Z bumper inserts but not, not in the place where you would expect. Let me show you. Oh yeah, today I'm working um, on my driveway just because the weather's perfect and you know, better lighting, so why not? So I'm thinking of doing these here. And the reason I'm doing them here is because you can see right there my cold air intakes are right there so i did open this up a while ago i know that's helped but this is another spot where i think if i if i do it here it'll help guide some air in there and so now it's uh it's trying to figure out i'm thinking of doing I'm thinking of something like this instead of like this because you know because this is a uh, it's curved I kind of need it to be more flat so if I do it like this it'll work and I'm thinking this way because the, this bottom line follows this line and the top line kind of follows the headlight so I'm thinking this is the best spot so quick update on the exhaust stuff what do you think I did my muffler guy, that guy that's done all my exhaust work, and I don't know if you can see that, but I had him, he cut this entire flange out and added a solid pipe to it. The reason I did that was because no matter what I did with this thing, one gasket, two gaskets, three, it didn't matter, it still leaked. And the way that I know this was leaking is... So the way I knew this was leaking is I looked up on YouTube on how to find exhaust leaks and I found this really cool video. Um, if I find it, I'll post it on the description where you take a shop vac and you take the hose and you put it to the tailpipe and you just wrap it with some tape just enough so that it stays on there and then you go to all the spots where you think you might have a leak with some soapy water you spray it and this thing was bubbling like crazy in every direction so like i said i tried different configurations i couldn't get it to seal so i said f it um this thing was um Costing me, costing me a lot of uh, power loss because as soon as we did that, as soon as I left the muffler shop, I mean, it was immediate. I felt, I felt the, the power come back. I felt the, the car, um, you know, more alive again. So let's get started with the paddle shifters. So before I go for a test drive, I want to install these. I finally went to go get some stickers made for my social media. 
I'm thinking back windshield, side mirrors in the back, uh, passenger right rear, passenger left rear, and then gas cap. We'll see. So here, here's how this one looks. Came out pretty good actually. And of course, had to have the Admin G37. All right, so everything's back in. There's downshift, the upshift. All the covers are on. They fit perfectly. Okay, time to go test these out. Um, the real question for me is, are these going to shift as quick as the, the shifter? I don't know. So here's what I got so far. I made a temp template out of cardboard. So, and the reason I did that is because I didn't want to be hand drawing, like freehand drawing this. And I did this. This is why I wanted it so that I can do this. And now I know what I need to cut. Um, this thing's a little weird because no matter what two corners, I cinch down first because this thing doesn't doesn't flex um, there's gonna be like a gap so I'm thinking of uh, screwing these down first and then maybe doing double-sided sticky tape back here just to so that when I screw it down it doesn't bend too much and crack so we'll see and the reason why I take this is because I am getting ready to cut this much material off because I want this hole bigger so let's get started. So there it is, it's out. Perfect, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Lowe's and I'm gonna buy longer uh, nut, I'm gonna buy longer bolts, a nut and a washer, and I'm gonna put Loctite on them. And then I'm gonna have Lowe's hold this in. I thought this wasn't gonna flex at all, but it does. It's got enough, it's got enough flex in it. I just gotta be careful not to do it too much because I don't think, you know, this will probably end up breaking. But anyways, that's the idea. Let's see what it looks like. I'm gonna take the tape off and I'll put this over it and then that'll really give us the idea how it's gonna look. So I'll be right back. Thank you. 
This is how you draw a truck. 